Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Two days ago, three men were found guilty at Woodage Crown Court for transporting firearms into the UK via the Euro Tunnel from France. Two of these guys are from Peckham. Uh, they're all from South London, South East London. Kennedy was jailed for eight years and six months having been found guilty of conspiracy to supply drugs and, and being knowingly concerned in the fraudulent evasion of a prohibited weapon. Michael was sentenced to eight years, having been found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Emmanuel was found guilty of conspiracy to supply firearms with intent to endanger life, conspiracy to possess ammunition with intent to endanger life, conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and possessing ammunition with intent to endanger life he was sentenced to 23.5 years on the 9th of november 2018 because there was also caught with a thousand grams of pure cocaine high purity levels 990 grams to be exact which is a hell of a lot of cocaine uh, being an ounce is 28 grams so how many ounces to go into that michael and kennedy were arrested at the scene and subsequently charged the operation with the trident and area crime command working with border force on the 12th of august found two loaded firearms ammunition and a silencer they were recovered in calais in france in a car destined for folkestone the car was seized and subsequently nearly a thousand grams of high purity cocaine were recovered from inside in the roof cavity michael and kennedy were arrested at the scene and subsequently charged an investigation was launched by the trident and area crime command and emmanuel and a woman were arrested in the early hours of the 13th of august 2018 they were charged with firearm offenses and when a loaded firearm was recovered from an address in forest hill emmanuel's fingerprint prints were recovered from a carrier bag in which the firearm was held and his dna was recovered from two parts of the firearm in addition a firearm was re recovered from a vehicle in north london where emmanuel's fingerprints were also found on the bag that contained the firearm detectives established the men had made several trips to amsterdam via the euro tunnel during the months of july and august 2017 it is believed at least three importations of prohibited firearms and drugs had taken place Emmanuel had established to be the main orchestrator in the conspiracy using others with little or no previous history criminal history to work with him and they actually picture the firearm with the silencer on it so it's quite a small caliber firearm but a very dangerous weapon with a silencer on it to be able to commit an offense with less chance of drawing attention to yourself and these men went to quite a far distance so to go from france all the way around to amsterdam it's quite a drive to and the euro tunnel it's been around since 1988 it's the connection from england to france it's only 31 miles long that's how far the the water that divides france from england is so it's actually closer to get from london to france than it would be to get to london to birmingham for example but when hs2 is built from london to birmingham it will take 40 minutes the future technology changes travel as we know it and this goes at 100 miles an hour and people are using it all day long tourists coming from england to france and you could go on there with your car as well so you can drive onto the actual train and it will take you across with your car so of course a lot of people are bringing back prohibited items in france their gun laws are actually very similar they do allow gun licenses but there is also a big criminal underworld there like every country and a lot of criminal weapons and also buying weapons Replicas. There was a case in Birmingham in July 2018 where four men were jailed because they ordered blank pistols to the Birmingham area and converted the guns to live firing rounds. Police discovered the weapons in a car along with 25 rounds of ammunition. They was all jailed for 20 years for the same offence. Lee Cullen received 21 years, so it's a very big sentence for bringing in any type of illegal firearms into the country and also even converting them because the one guy said he had it for a fancy dress party. So because the weapon hadn't been converted yet, uh, he used that as an excuse to try and get the charge reduced, but that did not work and they still done him for conspiracy to possess a firearm. So these, this is just another example of the various methods that people use quite commonly known methods of getting weapons into the country they're going to serve long sentences for this mistake so i hope when they come out 
they get onto a more legitimate business and find some more entrepreneurial skills that don't involve illegal firearms. So please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and go and check out our other videos. And if you're a new subscriber and I know there's plenty of you, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. In his possession. Do you have anything on you that you shouldn't have? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What do you have? Uh, I don't know why. It's Can we just box. dress him? What do you have on you at the moment? Uh, I think it's a grenade. You think you've got a grenade? Yeah, and a gun. I think it's a grenade gun. and a gun. Where are they? In my pocket here and in your arm here. In your pocket and this, your arm? This pocket there. Bomb disposal officers were called to carry out a controlled explosion of the device and the road was shut for some time. If you think about the pain, it affects us. So we stay merry like Xmas, whipping in a Lexus, pushing out bits and some extras, poppy dropping.